So I have not talked about the AOC Miami trip because, quite frankly, I find it all pretty, pretty uninteresting. But a bunch of you have asked me to comment on the coverage of it, and I do think there are a couple of interesting things there. So the backstory on this, as I understand it, and again, I care so little about it that I'm more interested in the reaction than the story. As I understand it, over the New Year's weekend, Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and her her partner, her boyfriend, her husband, I don't know, the guy, the guy she's with, they went down to Miami. I think she has family there. Um, and she was photographed eating outdoors without a mask. Some right wing commenters focused on the fact that she went, she escaped liberal New York and DC to go to conservative Florida. Okay, not a super interesting analysis. I mean, Miami is like the most left place in Florida. I love Miami myself. I would never live in the conservative parts of Florida, but I love Miami. I love the food. I love the weather. I love the uh, diversity of people and, and, you know, speaking Spanish with all the Cuban Americans that are down there. You know, are, are lots of Argentinians. I don't know that it's any big indictment on conservatism, uh, on a liberalism that you go to Miami. It's one of the most liberal places, especially eastern Miami Dade County. Uh, the other some people focused on the fact that her partner was wearing sandals and you could see his feet. It was very, very strange. And then AOC shot back a lot of these people that are mad. They actually they actually want to date me, which I thought it was a little bit weird, a little, little bit pompous and presumptuous, but I, I just don't really care about it. But a very interesting thing happened, which is that on Fox News, reporter Charlie Gasparino actually said, to be honest with you, the criticism AOC is getting is unfair. And the anchor didn't like it and started arguing with Charlie Gasparino, who was just very honest. Take a look at this. The entire segment is called Rules for Thee, Not for Me, by the way. And AOC was eating outside without a mask. I mean, that, that's allowed everywhere. I don't even know what what is unfair about that. Well, it seems AOC is a OK with ditching the mask when in Miami, at least. She's sitting outside. I, I, what, what does that mean? She's OK. What are you talking about? Now there's video of her outside hugging someone. Well, that was the New York Congresswoman music playing in the background, partying up, dropping the cover while partying at that crowded bar there in Florida. Critics are calling her a hypocrite as covid cases spike back in her home state of New York. Charlie. Gap and by the way, Cases are spiking in Florida, too, it's not, but the hospitalizations are up 200 percent. Like even the whole framing is crazy. But let's get into the meat. Sperino joins us now. So, Charlie, is it fair that many are calling her out for being a hypocrite while partying it up in Florida while her home state is battling a record covid surge? Uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> no. I, I, yeah, it is unfair. I, 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 don't, I don't see why why she can't go to Florida and have a good time. Uh, I mean, I kind of wish I was Nobody there, but I was, can't. I, I was I was I was in I was personally in COVID quarantine. <laughs> so what exactly is the hypocrisy? Is it she wasn't wearing a mask outside because basically no one is? Is it that she went to a different? St what is the hypocrisy exactly? Um, listen, it's hypocr it's 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 a it's a it's a hypocrisy if she's sitting around talking about what a bad job DeSantis is doing, the governor DeSantis of Florida is doing, as opposed to what a great job uh, Governor Hochul in New York is doing. Then it would be hip hypocritical for her to go and party in the place uh, in the center of uh, of evil. Let so me speak, make this simple, of, Charlie. She's which been a lot very of supportive of, Democrats of a very. The anchor does not like that Charlie Gasparino is off message here. Charlie, she's been very supportive of very strict measures in her home state to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Right. Florida, uh, many Democrats have been very critical of Florida that has been more relaxed on some right. of those measures. She is choosing I, I, to vacation okay, there and I, live I, it up without her mask on and kiss and hug. That's, this, that's this the, is a, the this, hypocrisy being questioned. This, this is a Fox News alert. I am going to support AOC on this. And here's why. She was outside. I mean, I don't think she's unless you could show me, you know, some some tweet or some pub, some statement from her saying, I think people even outside when they go jogging, when they eat yeah. outside should uh, have face mask on. Yeah. Then it's not hypocritical because she's outside. And, and by the way, 
you can be critical of Florida in terms of its lack of access to testing because you would like to see schools take some. If you go to Miami and sit outside at a restaurant, you're not really being hypocritical. I mean, it's, it's just it's what what was incredible was the degree to which this was story number one on Fox News. I mean, look, look at some of the coverage of this. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez accused of hypocrisy. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of hypocrisy. Rules for thee, but not for me. AOC. 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 Maybe AOC needs to go back to the border. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The heat. AOC is getting. Alexandria. By the way, this is all within a seven-hour period. Ocasio Cortez, the so called squad member. Furthermore, I want to talk about AOC. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. She said, that, she said seen, the Republicans were, were like hot for her body. Brian, the Motley Crue song, right? Girl, don't go away, man. Just go away. Don't come down here. Why are you coming down here? AOC says that you just are, you just are sexually frustrated. I you want to date, date her. <laughs> That you want to date communists, so tell me about that. <laughs> she says they're mad because they can't date her. Sean Duffy. Now, I do I do admit that, that they're mad because they can't date her. It comes off as a little bit arrogant. It's probably true with some of them, by the way. It's probably, but it's not the type of thing you're supposed to say. So another fabricated story. Um, and again, I do think Charlie Gasparino is right. If she was uh, indoors at some big concert with no mask. I think it would be different. But many of us all along have been saying there should be testing. We're fine with vaccine mandates. You should wear masks indoors, blah, 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 blah. But no one's really getting this outdoors and sitting outdoors. And in fact, going to a warm place and where it's easier to sit outdoors seems like a completely coherent thing to do, given that belief. I'm not even a big defender of AOC, but this was very, very stupid.